Welcome to the Emerging Crypto Weekly Update. I'm John Lira, and here are the top stories in Web3 from emerging markets this week. Nigerian venture capital firm Echo VC has launched an $8 million blockchain fund called Echo VC Chain, which will focus on supporting underrepresented founders and markets in Africa. The pilot seed fund will concentrate on three areas of blockchain functionality, including fintech infrastructure using stablecoins, decentralized finance and non-fungible tokens, and decentralized autonomous organizations that can organize informal networks to increase earning potential. EcoVC has previously invested in nearly 40 companies globally and grew its blockchain portfolio to seven investments across business-to-business infrastructure, DeFi, and market making. The Central Bank of Brazil has chosen Hyperledger Besu, a permission-distributed ledger technology, for its digital real pilot due to its compatibility with the Ethereum virtual machine, transaction privacy support, and ability to incorporate additional modules. The pilot began on March 9th, and if the tests are unsatisfactory, the central bank will extend the test. The central bank has updated its guidelines for the digital real project, including the requirement of no regulatory asymmetries between digital real and existing financial systems, the coupling between systems, and the use of smart contracts and programmable money compatible with IoT. Both sides of the Russian war in Ukraine have been using cryptocurrencies, with pro-Ukraine causes collecting around 200 million in crypto donations, while pro-Kremlin groups and propaganda outlets raise a total of around 5 million via crypto. Individual actors on both sides have been using crypto to bypass financial sanctions and acquire military resources for the front. Additionally, over 450 million was paid to ransomware groups in 2022, many of which were believed to be based in Russia, and some of which have openly supported the Russian government in its war effort. The Central Bank of Iran has completed preliminary research for the launch of a potential CBDC being developed using Hyperledger Fabric and aims to increase the scope of its pilot in the country's payment system. The rules governing a potential CBDC will align with those established for real banknotes, and a CBDC would be distributed among individuals and banks, with the infrastructure recreating some blockchain features. Ten banks in Iran have applied to join the CBDC project, with all banks and credit institutions in Iran expected to start offering electronic wallets for using the upcoming digital currency. And that's all for this week. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with us. We also produce a weekly newspaper packed with the latest Web3 news from emerging markets and more. The link to get access is in the description below. And if you really liked the video, share it with your friends and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.